Hello, it's my great pleasure to introduce to you Anna Maria McElwain, the first recipient of the Joan Benson Clavichord Award. Joan Benson passed away last year, having uh, established before she died uh, an award that would honor the clavichord, an instrument that she felt had not been given enough attention during her lifetime, even though she did as much as she possibly could, especially during her later years, to keep it uh, front and center in people's minds. So congratulations, Anna Maria. How did you feel when you first learned you were the first recipient? Oh, I was thrilled to tears. <laughs> I felt as if I had uh, gotten the greatest honor I could possibly get because first of all, I can relate to Joan Benson on so many levels and uh, with her being my heroine, I'm happier than I could express to have an award in her name and in her honor. I'm thrilled to hear that. The jury was unanimous in uh, giving you the award. And I know it would have meant a lot to Joan that uh, the 8th of March, the day we're announcing this award is International Women's Day. And uh, it also happens to be the birthday of CPE Bach, a composer that she, she loved and performed a great deal. So Anna Maria, tell us a little bit about how the clavichord came into your life, because I know you were a keyboardist um, from a young age, but you didn't start playing clavichord till a little later. Um, that's true. I played the piano and then in my um, university years, when I was 19, 20, I played harpsichord and forte piano, as well as piano. And then when I was 29, my father ful fulfilled my wish of many years and presented me on my 29th birthday with a clavichord that he had built himself. And after that, I have not done much else except play the clavichord. That's great to hear. And I understand that you're the only person ever to complete a master's degree at the Sibelius Academy in clavichord. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> So um, how have you, you've made clavichord the center of your uh, musical life since that time. And um, what kind of work have you been doing with it? Tell us a little bit more about uh, the recordings you've made and the kind of music you play. Um, well, uh, initially I fell in love with the clavichord because I knew that it was the instrument of C.P. Bach and um, Johann Sebastian Bach. But the clavichord has taught me so much more. I have gone into much earlier music and I have gotten enthusiastic about also later music. Just last year, I prepared a series of 20 Beethoven sonatas for the Beethoven Jubilee to perform on the clavichord. And of course, that still has to happen. And um, I have premiered a lot of um, um, contemporary composers who have written for the clavichord. And um, in 2012, we started the Nordic Historical Keyboard Festival, which focuses on the clavichord. We have 20 concerts every, every year, and most of them include clavichord or are just clavichord. And in uh, 2014, I arranged uh, the first international clavichord competition. And in 2018, the international clavichord composition competition <laughs> that's wonderful i have also taken the clavichord to lots of people who are not able to come to clavichord recitals considering myself a kind of a missionary because i love the instrument and i want everybody else to love it as well so i have taken it to small kids and hospitals and schools and mental hospitals hospices dying people and it has been told that the clavichord is the best instrument, for example, to play in the hospital because it is so quiet that it's not disturbing the people who are suffering and they get a lot of comfort from the sound of it. That's wonderful to hear, thank you. I understand that the festival, the Nordic festival will go ahead this year in 2021 and it will have a virtual component so that many, many more people will be able to enjoy those concerts that have previously been only available to those who are able to visit. Yes, I have now arranged for, for it to be live streamed. I don't know if there will be any 
physical audience, I certainly hope so, but definitely I hope that we will have a lot of virtual audience. And uh, we will make sure to, to spread that news among uh, the EMA um, audiences and let everybody know closer to the time when the competition is taking place. Thank you very much, Anna Maria, for spending this time with me today. And uh, I think we can all agree that um, the clavichord is going to be on the map for longer, courtesy of, of Joan's foresight in setting up this award and for the kind of work that you're doing and will continue to do over many years, I'm sure. So thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>